Cool. Let's hang out together. Let's talk. Okay. Okay. Tell me something fresh from today. Um, I got up this morning and was hopeful and I read a book by Melody Beatty called Codependency No More and um, I cannot, unfortunately, I'm very limited on reading scriptures, so um, because I... So, hold on, don't go in the past. Sorry. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. This has been, I've been yeah. working come hard back, to try come back, here, come back here with me. So, okay. So how's your day so far? So far, it's been very good. You're I happy? Mean, it's, been, yeah. it's been good. And yeah, you're happy? I right. am happy, but I'm also right. sad. Right you know, now. Because I want, right now. I want to get to a place where I'm incredibly content. Hold on a second. Back. No, Kendra, come back. I'm not talking about where you're going to be in the future, honey. I'm talking about right now. Just be here with me right now. Okay. Right now. I'm just talking about right now. How are you doing? I, I keep going back. I understand so that. Yeah. yeah. So. I just keep going back yeah. and back yeah. and back and yeah. back. It's and a, I can't stop it. Like, yeah. I can't stop okay. thinking about Ken, Kendra, past. Kendra. I'm sorry. Kendra. Yes. There is hundreds of people on the platform anyway, so I don't want to spend the whole time. That's so. That's fine. But, hold on. Let's hang out together right now for 20 seconds. Okay. Here. Here. You and I, here. Okay. Without the story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what's happening here, in here, in this moment? I am just going to look at this beautiful tree that I have with blooming okay. flowers. So you no, hold on a second. You're going to or you're looking at? I am looking at the okay. tree. Yeah, then don't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. So get into the practice of this, what I just shared with you. Okay? Okay. Get in a practice that every day you make a conscious effort of coming into this moment and hanging out in this moment. Maybe you do it several times a day. Okay. Okay? So, hold on a second. That's a practice I'm giving you. And in one week, contact me and we'll power to see where you're at with this practice. <clears throat> okay. Okay? Is that, okay. fair? Is that fair enough? Absolutely. That's fine. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you.
I'm going to share one other thing with you is that when you do get close and you come in contact and within the vicinity of an awakened being, someone who has realized the self, someone who has become free from the cycle and realize that anything that comes and goes is not real. So you do come in contact with the teacher, the master, the guru, the awakened one. The one of the best things you can always do that when you're at the presence of a real true awakened being is to sit with them in silence. And again, it depends where you're at. Maybe in the beginning, you need to ask a lot of questions, <clears throat> depending on where in your path you're, you're at. But as soon as you clear up all your questions, get in the habit of being in the company of the wise, but sit in silence. And receive. Let their transmission penetrate your being. Just get showered by their presence. Don't get distracted with their looks or whatever it is. But when you start feeling the love and the juice, and the transmission, go for it. Sit in it, be quiet, and receive. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, for me, what I realized at the very end was, and also starting to teach, is really not of the things I'm saying and I'm sharing with you is that. That is really silence, to be very honest with you. And I know there are some people that won't believe it or, the, you know, they say, but but why then? But I'm just telling you. There's nothing comparable to the power of silence. 